Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a huge day of Trailblazers in FC24. We have the new type of loading screen showing us some cards that we're going to get, but we already have the whole entire leaked team, which we're going to take a look at today. And of course, guys, talk about all the insane SBCs and content that we are expecting to drop on Ultimate Team today. We've got big SBCs, Player of the Months being some of that. And of course, we have to talk about all of the madness that happened yesterday with the preseason packs that EA gave out, but also stopped giving out at the same time. So there's some compensation on the way for that. But there's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. First of all, yesterday's content, just really quickly as we start the video, all we had was marquee matchups. And honestly, guys, I think EA made another mistake, one they haven't even addressed yet at the time of me recording this video. There is a road to the knockouts, Hector Bellerin, in concepts right now, but there is no SBC anywhere in the game. This card does not look very good. Three star, two star. If you want a Betis card, if you want a live version of Hector Bellerin, it is going to be, I guess, out at some point. But as of right now, he is nowhere to be found in this game in SBCs or objectives. We figured he was going to be in the SBC section and he is not there. So I don't know what's going on there. EA might release that card today. They had some mistakes yesterday. The biggest of those mistakes being, of course, the join the club two and join the club one rewards. These are all a part of the preseason rewards that we talked about in yesterday's video, right? These were the objectives that we completed on FIFA 23 to get the rewards in FC 24. First of all, EA messed up and gave us, instead of an 84 times three pack, they gave the people that completed the join the club three objective back in FIFA 23 an 85 times five. So they gave us a better pack, which is like, great EA, thank you for that. EA said that because of this, rewards have been temporarily disabled, and this was 35 minutes after the content drop. So I don't know if they're giving rewards out anymore right now, but if you did not log on to the game inside of that 35 minute window, I don't know if they're giving out all the rewards. So you might not have all your packs, and that's a disappointing bummer because with this team that is coming out today, a lot of people wanted these packs to open for this promo, which is what I wanna open them for today, right? And I think a lot of you guys did as well. So that's kind of a disappointing thing. I hope they get that fixed up fast. And then also, they were giving out a wrong selection of packs for the Join the Club pack, which was supposed to give you basically this pack right here, three rare girl players from each eFigs league. Oh, looks like they fixed it, guys. It has 15 items and 15 rares inside of it. Before, it just said three. So it looks like that has been fixed. Maybe the 85 times five thing has been fixed as well, and these packs are being given out. We will see. They have not responded to this tweet yet, but... I mean, this is big because we need these packs, right? We want these packs. The whole point for a lot of us was to open these packs for the Trailblazers promo that is coming today. But who's who's surprised, right, that we had some EA mistakes yesterday on this game? There's been more and more mistakes recently, and that was something, of course, we... I feel like there's mistakes every year with the carryover from the old FIFA to the next game with those, like, you know, preseason rewards. So, that's enough of yesterday. Let's look ahead at today. And guys, as we talk about today on Friday... We got to talk about content that's going to be dropping here in the SBC section even before we get to 6 p.m. We're talking player of the month. Now, we've had this leak for about a day now, but we expect today to be the day where we see one or both of these player of the month SBCs. I think the one that is more guaranteed is Hyun Min Son. Player of the month for the Premier League almost always drop on Fridays a bit earlier in the day. Sometime during the early morning hours or during the day today on Friday, expect a player of the month Hyun Son. I hope it's a decent price. I hope they go above the inform rating, which is an 88, and I hope they make him an 89. Also, Rafael Leao, another big card that a lot of people are looking forward to to get a player of the month. He's really, really good this year, especially with the play style pluses that he has. So watch out for these SBCs today. Like if the Hyunmin Sun SBC is really good value or if the Rafael Leao is really good value, you might see some SBC fodder prices rising into content. But as we're gonna talk about a little bit later, guys, for fodder today and for the gold market, just like every other Friday we've seen on this game, the supply is insane. So if you have these fodder cards, I know there's so many SBCs that are leaked and we could have some really good ones today. But the fodder on Fridays, it, it gets supplied so much because of all the packs, especially today. So many people saving packs. That's going to impact the market a lot. So I'd be careful with your fodder today before the content drop. But also, I know some of you guys bought fodder at prices that were so low this last weekend that it's probably not going to go any lower than that. So in that case, if you want to hold, I think it is okay to do so. So 
that is what's coming before content today. Let's talk about the promo on hand, the big cards that we're all excited about because it almost seems crazy that EA is dropping this many big time cards and packs. The Trailblazers team. Now, this is the loading screen right now. Jude Bellingham, Antoine Griezmann, and Graham Hansen with their actual playstyle pluses added onto the cards. That is the technical dribbler for Jude Bellingham, the Trivella for Griezmann, and the finesse shot for Graham Hansen. And this is the full team, which we did get confirmed. Every single card will receive in-form upgrades to better represent their form and new or updated playstyle pluses. And Trailblazers are players that have started the season on fire for their club. So a lot of people are comparing this to like the headliners promo of old FIFA's where it was kind of like players that already had special cards getting another boosted version. This comes at a really interesting point in the year. We're on the third week of this game and we already have a Salah in form. We already have a Jude Bellingham in form. And we're getting, and Mkhitaryan as well, we're already getting special cards for them again. It seems a little bit repetitive, but at the same time, I think it's going to be so cool because the playstyle pluses, guys, are going to change how meta a lot of these cards are. Instead of having Relentless, which some people feel like is kind of useless for a playstyle plus, Jude Bellingham is going to have Technical Plus. I think for the Joe Cole that I have that uses this playstyle plus, it is one of the most insane dribbling playstyle pluses in this game. Finesse Shot, so OP. The Power Shot Plus for Mbappe, like... Wow, that's going to be insane for... This card's going to be like 7 million or something ridiculous today, guys. This Mbappe is going to be super expensive. And then Trivello with Griezmann, he's probably going to be pretty good as well. But this promo team, uh, this is the team one that Sheriff tweeted out. I would imagine that three or four of these cards may not be in packs today, guys. It's a, a squad of 15 players. I would have to imagine that three or four may not be in packs today and they will be in a mini release that will come out on Sunday. So that's something to kind of watch out for. Let's say like... If Kunde is not in packs today, well, that might be the answer to why he is not. This team, though, looks ridiculous. Mbappe, Hansen, Salah, Griezmann, Ruben Diaz, Jude Bellingham, Di Lorenzo, Kunde, some big name players, big clubs. It all comes down to the stats, guys. How much they boost these stats up and what play styles do the cards have? I'm going to talk you through an interesting scenario to watch out for today is like Mohamed Salah's inform has the finesse shot. Playstyle Plus. If his card comes out today, I mean, it's it's hard to top the Playstyle Plus in terms of one of these, um, or sorry, it's hard to top the Finesse Shot Playstyle Plus. If he comes out today with like, I don't know, maybe something that's like, I don't know, if he has Rapid or even Trivella Playstyle Plus, that'd still be good, but it would also make his inform maybe a little bit more desirable still and probably a lot cheaper than what this new promo card with a higher rating is going to be today. So watch out for, you know, Mkhitaryan, Jude Bellingham and Salah, depending on where their prices are on the market specifically, those old promo cards maybe move back up in price a bit if the new ones are just way too expensive and also if the playstyles don't look that good. Now, for this promo team as well, guys, I can't imagine that any of these cards are going to be cheap. Like, it just, you, you're telling me there's going to be a promo Mbappe in packs, Mohamed Salah in packs, Kunde, Jude, Griezmann. Guys, I don't think these promo cards are going to be at all like what this last week of Road to the Knockouts was on this game, right? Remember last week, these cards were so packable and they're so cheap, but they're also juiced. This week, the cards look like they're going to be pretty good with the playstyles as well. And there's so many big names. I think it's going to be a lot more like team one of Road to the Knockouts where the cards were very difficult to pack. They were very expensive. And what happened with that is a lot of people went back to the rest of the market to buy cards for their teams. We'll talk more about the market here in a second, but a lot of today's content really does come down through the pack weight for the new cards and their prices. And also it comes down to the SBCs because every single Friday we get a promo card SBC for the brand new promo. And Rodrigo is, in my opinion, the SBC that might be today. Now, he wasn't leaked first, but this is a, I would say, between Rodrigo and Declan Rice. Those are the two SBCs that could be today. They're the two that are leaked right now. I think Rodrigo would make a bigger splash on this game. He is one of the most used gold right wings in this game. Like he's, in the, he's in the top 20 most used players in this game entirely. And you give this card a, a nice boost and a play style plus. I think this SBC today could be really, really interesting. I don't know if they're going to give him five star skills or anything like that. But probably 90 pace, maybe mid 80 shooting like this um, predicted stats card shows. This could be a really, really amazing card, but also 
I can't imagine that it's going to be that cheap. Brazilian, Real Madrid links, EA note people will pay a premium for a very meta type card as this. This could be a really, really good SBC today, but also it could be a bit expensive. So just kind of watch out for that. If it's great value, you know, a card that might really rise up a lot today, a link to him that is going out of packs, Luka Modric. And I'm really keeping an eye on, guys, I'm really watching these road to the knockouts from Team 2. Last week, the road to the knockouts from Team 1 went up in price a lot out of packs. I don't know if you guys remember prices on guys like Oshiman. Bruno Fernandez, Openda, Lamer, Kalulu. A lot of these prices have risen. Like Kalulu, for example, is 180,000 coins right now. Last week on Thursday and Friday, he was 130, 140,000 coins and rose up a lot over the weekend because number one, these cards were rare. Remember that team one of Road of the Knockouts was very rare and hard to pack, but that made them actually go up a lot out of packs. Now, Team 2 is not as rare. We know that, but also Team 2 is way cheaper than what we thought they were going to be. And if a card like Rodrigo comes out today and is a decent value SBC, some of those Real Madrid links could rise as surely a lot of people would want to do an SBC like this because of, again, the fodder packs that we all are getting, especially if you did the rewards or the uh, objectives from FIFA 23 to carry over. A lot of people are getting these packs and they're opening them today. They're going to have fodder to go in to put in SBCs. It would be smart of EA. Well, it's already smart of EA what they're going to do today. Drop a couple player of the months and an SBC like this. It'd be smart if they made one of them good value because it could get a lot of people to go and do the SBC. Now, not to write off Declan Rice, if he is the SBC today, that could be really good as well. They need to give him a pace boost, but could be a really, really good defensive defensive midfielder in the Premier League with the Arsenal links, a lot of good Arsenal cards people are using in teams, English links as well. That would be one to keep an eye on, especially with the right play style plus. And guys, we're always getting an objective play on our promo Friday as well. I want to point this out because this has some sneaky market impact written all over it. Callum Wilson being a Newcastle Premier League English striker. These are predicted stats, right? He might have a better card than this. I would assuming it might be a little bit better. Every time EA, especially in the early game, put out an objective like this in previous years of Ultimate Team, it absolutely destroys over the next week or so the prices of other Premier League strikers in the game that are maybe a little bit cheaper on a lower budget. As long as those strikers that are on the market are not too much better than the card that they put in the objectives, like for this example here, they drop a lot. Because think about it, instead of using Inform Ali Watkins, who's like, what, 70, 80,000 coins? What if you just went and did this free objective card and got a card that's probably going to be maybe not exactly like Ollie Watkins, who has 90 pace. Callum Wilson maybe doesn't have 90 pace today, but somebody who's comparable and similar in stats and he's free with a play style plus, which Ollie Watkins does not. This is a card that I'm a little worried about. If this objective looks good, could be dropping in price and maybe some of your other Premier League strikers as well during the course of this next week. I'm not saying it's going to be crazy panic today because of this objective, unless they really juice up the card. But that's just something to watch out for throughout the rest of this week. So be careful with that. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the market. Guys, the market yesterday on Thursday, I'm a little surprised. Not that it went up a little bit, because we usually in the early stages of this game, like we mentioned in yesterday's video, um, the lower tier, the middle tier of gold cards did really, really well yesterday. I bought a bunch of Victor Osimans at 22K during Division Rivals rewards. He ended up going all the way to 27, 28,000 coins. I'll show you the graph right now. Osaman yesterday was the same graph as a lot of other pretty higher rated or even middle tier rare golds that a lot of people were buying for their teams. He was low during or right before Rivals Rewards 22K. I bought a bunch of them right here. I sold them all at about 27 to 28K. He dropped back down during marquee matchup supply. And then it started to go back up just a little bit. A lot of graphs looked like yesterday, which actually gave me some hope and some promise for even the market today on this weekend. The last two weeks, guys, you know what the market has done the last two weeks, right? We look at these graphs each week. Last week on Friday, Davies went from 52K down to 42,000 coins. The market got absolutely toasted last week on Friday. And that has everybody kind of scared heading into today. What I'll say is, Yes, I'm pretty scared for some gold cards, right? Are we going to see as big of drop-offs as we saw last week? I don't think so. Because again, like I said, last week's promo team was so in, uh, it was so in so many packs, it was so supplied and the prices were very cheap that it had people selling these to go use the brand new promo cards. And again, guys, I just think that today's promo team, 
is going to be expensive. It almost has to be with the, the big name players that are in here, the playstyle pluses that they are getting. I mean, if EA make these cards cheap today, the whole entire market's going to get destroyed like crazy because everybody is going to want these cards because they'll be so meta. I just can't see that happening now. Two weeks in a row, I don't think it's going to be that possible to happen. I'm expecting golds to drop today. So I would say if you're looking to buy a team, if you're looking to buy cards, like maybe let's say... Um, Gold, let's say somebody on the middle to low tier, Gold Tonali, Gold Rafinha, right? Of course, could be impacted a bit if Rodrigo gets an SBC. But cards like this, 84 rated, he's still going to get packed a lot today. Again, so many people are saving packs for this promo team today. If you're wanting to buy a gold card for your team, I think you want to wait until after the content drop because of all the supply, it's going to be open to packs in the store. we got some pack code we're going to look at here in a second. So I think you want to wait for that before you go and buy cards for your team. But also what I think could happen today that hasn't happened in the past two weeks is on the middle to the top tier, let's say somebody like, hmm, I don't know, somebody who's higher rated that's not on the promo team today. Let's use an example of VVD, right? This is one of the best center backs, if not the best, well, definitely the best gold center back in the game. But VVD is like 200,000 coins, right? On this game right now. Last week, VVD, Went from 266 down to 200k. Went back up a little during the week and is now back down. If VVD drops to like 175, if we have huge drops in price with the panic selling ahead of the content today and also another kind of chunk drop in price after the content drop, I think that would be a good time to buy a player like this for your team. And that first maybe 30 minutes to an hour to two hours after the content drop, if prices are crashing a lot once again, but the new promo team like we have been talking about is expensive. The SBC is okay. Maybe it's a good SBC, but you know, it's just like, wow, a lot of these cards are expensive and you know, Ruben Diaz is in the promo team, but VVD is obviously a really good card. Maybe you play alongside of him or Ruben Diaz, maybe is like four or 500 K or something like that. And still a lot more expensive than VVD. I still think a lot of cards could actually rebound back up today. Now, last week we saw them just drop for hours and hours and hours on end. You guys remember how low the market got last Friday night, right? This was his graph last Friday. He went from 240 and just dropped all day, all night, and then finally rebounded a bit on Saturday before dropping back down low again. I think that there's a lot more coins on the market this week, and also everybody is looking to buy their team today at some point on Friday to go out and play Week and League with. So I think there's going to be some prices that actually do bounce back a little bit today. Again, I would be very careful if it's a gold card, just because those cards are going to get supplied a lot. And if you're trying to specifically like make coins today, I just be very careful with golds. I know a lot of you guys want to buy them for your teams and stuff like that. Wait for big price drops, then pounce would be my recommendation for you. Now, for some other stuff that's going on today, icons, out of pack specials, heroes, just kind of play it safe with what SBCs we get. Like if we get a right wing SBC, you know, I would be very careful buying somebody who is a, a right wing special card, maybe like Bukayo Saka's Road to the Knockouts. You'd be careful buying this card because a new right wing, let's say Rodrigo comes out and then, you know, that could impact a card like him. Could also make it potentially a good investing opportunity as he is out of packs. But uh, I think there will be some rebounds today on this market. Like a lot of people are going to be opening packs. Yes, a lot of them untradeable, but at the same time, uh, that's going to mean people that are opening the tradable packs and the lightning rounds and stuff like that will maybe go back to the market and buy teams for Weekend League. And I think people have more coins now than they did last week. Another week to grind rewards and get rewards and get more coins. So I think the market could do better today than it has in previous weeks, but I'm definitely thinking there will be some prices that drop off. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market today. If you're going to buy a team, again, watch for the big drop-offs and then pounce when you think the price is right. Um, but I'm probably waiting for after content to make a move on anything like that. Last thing I want to mention in terms of the market, Road to the Knockouts Team 1. We've mentioned these teams a couple times already. These cards flew last week, right? We looked at Kalulu. A lot of people have started investing in these cards already because they think they're going to do the same thing. Acuna's up 10k from where he was. Di Maria is started to rise as well. Modric, a lot of people have their eyes on him. Joao Pedro. I have my eyes on this team today because if this promo team is super crazy expensive, 
I think some of these cards could actually rebound back up, even though they're a lot more supplied than Team 1, because these are live cards. And one of the best investments in previous years of Ultimate Team are live cards that upgrade. Yes, they don't get upgrades for a couple more weeks. You know, Champions League, Conference League, Europa League on pause right now, international break. So those games are coming back for a bit. But especially for some of the cheaper guys, buy an LR. If you've got like over 150K, pick up an LR for 13K. Throw it on your transfer list. That is a very, very low risk investment. That if you just stick it on your transfer list and wait for a month, it might end up being, um, you know, 20k. I mean, who knows? Maybe 25k if they keep winning. He gets a couple upgrades. Then he's gonna almost be hullet gang if he gets two upgrades. So that's just something to consider with some of these cards. Um, especially I like, I think I kind of like Gutsa guys. Uh, Frankfurt have really good opportunity in their group. 16,000 coins for probably one of the best Bundesliga center attacking mids. He can play left mid as well. He's four star, four star. He's got some really, really good play styles. I've heard he's pretty good in game. And he was a part of the mini release. So if you can pick up a good set for like 14, 15K today, again, people are going to be opening their weekend league rewards before the content drop. Probably not a ton of people, but some people will be. And that might make some supply and some prices drop even right before the content as well. But that's a card that I would watch today. But this team in general, I mean, if the content is bad today and everybody sees what is dropped and is like, oh, this sucks, people are going to go back out to the market and buy cards like Joao Pedro, Lewandowski, Modric, and stuff like that. So I'm not going to be buying any of these today until I see the content actually drop on this game. But after the content drops, I'm definitely going to be watching Road to the Knockouts for a potential rise even into the weekend as a lot of people may see these cards and be like, wow, these are, you know, the better cards that we have in the game for the price right now. I know the new ones are cool, but, you know, that's a sort of thing to think of. And then I want to give a quick shout out to Icons and Heroes. They've been really good to trade with over the last day. But one thing I want to mention is, guys, like these new promo cards that are coming today, they seem very structured towards players in this game that have a lot of coins. Because think about it, right? The Salah, one more last look at this promo team that's coming today. The Hansen is going to be insane. The Mbappe, the Griezmann. A lot of players in this game that have a lot of coins are going to want to go after these cards, and they might have to sell some heroes, might have to sell some icons, maybe some other top-tier gold and other special cards in this game to go ahead and afford those. So I'd be a little careful with icons today. They're, yes, rare. They're always great to trade with, but there could be some panic on that part of the market as well because of how crazy the new cards look today. So it's going to be a crazy day. I'm so excited to open up some of these save packs. And yeah, probably not pack any of these brand new cards, but at least have a shot at doing so. By the way, maybe stack a couple 80 plus gold upgrades if you want to. I've got all the packs from yesterday. Got my rivals rewards. We're going to be opening a bunch today on the Twitch stream. If you want to come check it out, have some fun and hopefully pack something sick with us and also try to make some coins at the same time, drop a follow down on the Twitch link that is in the description. But if you guys enjoyed the video today, getting us ready for FC24 and a big trailblazers team number one Friday. Drop a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you have not already. And drop a comment down below of which card you are most exciting to try out today or at least content you're excited for in the game today. So it's been Nate the Wood Account. I'll see you guys in the stream today. Peace.